Hi everyone, today's video is um, an acrylic infill with some rainbow stripe tips which I've done with gel polish. Um, this is a little bit more than just a basic fill um, on some of these nails. I add some extra acrylic to um, some of the tips. In fact, I think I do it to most of them. Um, when I was fi filing off the old design, I think I just filed them like a little bit too thin because I'm so used to like doing redesigns more than fills really so it's my own fault but yeah um so the core line that I'm using is my diamond nail supplies afterglow acrylic and I'm using the size 10 uh, size 12 sorry acry acrylic brush um my client have broken this now so that's why it looks different to the others because this is um, a completely new enhancement on there um, yeah, I've got a discount code for you as well for Diamond Nail Supplies, it's Emma10, I don't earn any money off of that, but um, it's just a good discount code for you guys. So now I'm just coming in and filing those side walls and free edge to make them nice and crisp. And then I'm going to come in with my e-file to debulk. Um, the bit that I use to do that is a fine cone carbide. I'm coming back in with my hand file, my usual filing routine. So I go across the body of the nail first to smooth that out, and make sure that's even, and then I go around the cuticle area to make sure that's nice and flush and blended into the natural nail. And then I go across that area where the apex is, making sure not to take the apex out, just to blend that in nicely with the rest of the nail. So I've dusted off and cleansed the nails off camera and now I'm coming in with a striping brush which I think I got from eBay um, and a selection of gel polishes. Um, oh, I can't remember the name of this blue but um, I'll, I'll put all the names of the gel polishes um, in the description box. They are all from the gel bottle. Um, yeah, so after I've done my stripes with each colour, um, my client cures them and then um, when I put the second colour down, it's the, the other colour's been cured before. I've just edited that out to kind of keep the video a good length.
So once all my desired colours are down, I'm coming back in with a slightly thinner um, striping brush and I'm using um, like a gold glittery gel polish. Uh, again, um, I can't remember what this one's called, but I'll leave it in the description box. It is one of the gel bottle diamond ones, I think. Um, and yeah, once I've done all of that, I'll cure these. So just for a little bit of extra decoration, um, I'm just adding these um, little gold crystals. Um, and to do this, I'm using my Diamond Nail Supplies crystal resin. As usual, I say it in most videos that I put crystals on that this is the best crystal resin I've ever used. So if you don't have it, get it. And then once they're all in place, I'm gonna come in with my no wipe top coat this is the gel bottle extreme shine top coat and then i'm just also using a tiny little detail brush to just make sure that top coat goes all around the crystal just to really seal them in and then once they're all top coated um my client will cure her hand for 60 seconds and then i come in with um, some cuticle oil to finish and i've left you a little clip at the end of what the nails look like so if you like this video please like and subscribe share it um, find me on social media at dream nails imc and um, if you've got any questions just pop them in the comments or just say hello i like hearing from you all and I just want to say thank you to all my um, subscribers so far um, i hope you've had a lovely christmas and i'll see you in another video soon bye